I've always thought mission was the stereotypical going over to Africa living in a mud hut or maybe um, alpha course or maybe a, a mission event something that somebody's put on and everybody gathers around or even maybe um, talking to a friend about your faith that's what I always sort of assumed mission was and um, until fairly recently and and I think now I see it very differently I see it as um, mission being what God is doing in the world, that he's at work in the world all the time, throughout creation and in every aspect of life. And it's about us joining in with what he's already doing, not us going and doing something or organising to do something and praying that he'll come along with us and, and bless it. The very idea that um, our mission as Christians are in the church is, is us trying to save the world. If anyone's trying to go about it from that kind of perspective, I think good luck to you because you're going to have a hard time. Um, to me, mission is is getting involved with, with with what God is doing. I think for me, joining in God's mission is a bit like having a project manager who has a vision for what he wants to achieve. He has a vision for where he wants to go and what needs to be done. And he knows the different people on his team and their gifts and abilities. And. Uh, it's a bit like God is the project manager and each of us has our skills and abilities and our giftings. God bringing those together um, in order to achieve whatever it is the vision and the objective that he has. <clears throat> so when theologians talk about this idea of missio dei or um, the mission of God, this idea that mission is partnering with God in what, what God is doing, I think that's... Some people have criticised the idea and said it, it, it's not specific enough, it doesn't really mean anything. But I think it really is adopting a completely different posture in how we go about mission. Um, it's not so much our strategizing, our clever ideas, our agendas. It's really discovering what God is doing, finding the glimpses of glory, the, the, the places where God's kingdom is, is outbreaking and, um, and, and, and getting involved with that, um, investing ourselves there. But that takes a whole different way of going about things that takes listening, it takes looking, it takes waiting. Well, if we think about joining with God mission or mission today, for me, um, I tell you just a short story. I was in a conference one time and I was talking to a believer from a Muslim background. And he looked at all these Christians sitting there, all these evangelical uh, preachers and evangelists, and he said, I want you to know something. We don't need you. Christ and God is already at work. The only thing we want from you is to bring us in and accept us and help us to learn discipleship training. So when people think we're taking Christ over to the mission field, I think they're mistaken. Christ is already there. I think one of the places that I've been really struck by God at work is in my role as um, working with charities across the UK and we work with small charities in disadvantaged communities with individuals with a vision and a passion to make a difference to those people that they're living with and um, incarnationally working with. A lot of them aren't Christians and yet um, you can absolutely see God's heart at work and his mission being fulfilled in the love that these people have for those that they're working with whether they're poor, whether they're on the edges of, uh, of the community um, and they're just being loved and lives are being transformed and um, people are being restored. Um, the, but as I say, they're not necessarily Christians, but you can absolutely, absolutely see God at work. And so joining in with that and encouraging them and what they are doing and supporting them um, has been a real privilege. We were finding that people in this community were discovering Jesus um, through their 
recovery journey. So um, in the 12 steps, in handing their life over to God, God was really revealing himself to them. They were really um, finding this real presence of Jesus in their life, really transforming their life uh, and having powerful encounters of the Holy Spirit. And the awesome thing about that was that um, no paid missionary or minister had been sent to do that. It was just happening, which I just found exciting and incredible to think. Uh, imagine all these places where God is at work and we don't even know about all of them. I mean, neither of us have, have gone to do work to start something new ourselves. We've gone to support something that's already been happening. So God's already been work, at work even before we got there. Um, and then we've gone and joined in with that ministry. Another story is that you, you'll hear from many of the Muslim uh, background believers tell you Jesus appeared to me in a dream. And I met the guy who um, used to go to Indonesia and walk around in Indonesia and ask people if they ever seen uh, a man that is bright in their dream. He said about 70% of them said, yes, we did. And he would, say, well, he would say to them, would you like me to tell you about that person? So God is at work, yes. I think if we can apply that listen, notice and stay, that can be a really practical framework for how we go about doing that. I'd encourage anybody wanting to do kind of mission in that way, if you move to a new context, uh, or even in the one that you're in now, just take some time out just to listen, to take some time out to notice what God's doing. And for me, that's ended up that the things I'm doing now are probably completely different to the ideas I had when we first moved into Luton. I acknowledge that God is working already outside there. And, and that's a huge relief to me because uh, He's sovereign and He's almighty. And so in many ways, we, we can do absolutely nothing without Him. Um, and that is a, it's a relief because you take away a big burden out of your shoulders. And, and you live in the joy and the freedom of Christ. So for me, mission starts when you start listening, when you have an open heart and you're willing to challenge your own culture and, and learn the other people's culture, learn about the way they do things. Sometimes just standing beside them. Sometimes it's just being a friend. And I'm not talking about being a friend because you want to gain something, but being a friend because you really sincerely want to be a friend. But being helping in that community. And when you become a community as a family, that I think where mission starts. It's, it's incredibly hard to, to, to put it to words really, but I guess I just show up and see what happens, I suppose. <laughs>